Mansouri, first Emirati astronaut, to the International Space Station on a scientific mission on 25 September 2019, and the development of the Mars 2117 vision to build a human colony on Mars. ...of the Martian atmosphere and the changes on in that atmosphere and the dynamics of that atmosphere. This mission to Mars is really for the hope of the Arab world and sending them a message to say you can be better, you can improve your country, you can reach where you want. There is no limit for us. We, you know, we're always thinking positive. The UAE wants to build scientists. They want to build and prepare ex experts in the field of science and technology and also in the field of space sciences. So that's why the UAE decided to, to go ahead with this, with this mission and also to give hope for the different countries in the region and to, to increase the contribution of the region when it comes to scientific contribution. Hope Probe will provide a complete picture of the Martian atmosphere. Understand climate dynamics and the global weather map through characterizing the lower atmosphere of Mars. Explain how the weather changes the escape of hydrogen and oxygen through correlating the lower atmosphere conditions with the upper atmosphere. Understand the structure and variability of hydrogen and oxygen in the upper atmosphere, as well as identifying why Mars is losing them into space. Mars is a mysterious planet that has always fascinated people on Earth. We still have plenty of unanswered questions. For instance, we know there is water on Mars, but only in the form of ice and vapor. Water can't exist on Mars as liquid because the atmosphere has become too thin. Oxygen and hydrogen, the building blocks of water, are being lost into space. We also know that Mars has some exotic weather, like massive, dust storms, similar to those on Earth, which are more brief and localized. On Mars, the dust storms can engulf the entire planet and rage on for months. Our science mission is to produce the first ever truly global picture of the Martian atmosphere. This is the first holistic study of the Martian climate and how the layers of its atmosphere fit together. We will model the connections between all the different components of the Martian climate, including all the temperatures, winds, dust, and clouds. Scientists on Earth will use the data that will be sent by the probe to build a complete dynamic picture of the Martian climate. This is something that has never been seen before. Our data will give the international science community a deeper and richer understanding of the Martian atmosphere. First, this will help us to model Earth's atmosphere and how it will evolve with time over millions of years. Second, it will allow us to analyze newly discovered planets far across the galaxy to be able to determine if there is life on it. We will share the data freely with more than 200 universities and research institutes around the world. This is our contribution to human knowledge. We want the orbiter to arrive at Mars in 2021 the UAE's 50th anniversary. Earth and Mars align their orbits once every two years. So we have a very short launch window in July 2020. We have to be ready by then. There will be no second chance. It's a race against time. It will unfold the solar panels and point the spacecraft toward the sun to charge the batteries. The journey across the solar system will take around seven months. As it travels, the spacecraft needs to figure out its location. There is no GPS in deep space. So the spacecraft will use star trackers to navigate using patterns of constellations. This is similar to the way our ancestors used the stars to find their way in the desert and at sea. When the spacecraft gets close to Mars, it'll have to use its thrusters as brakes. It'll need to slow down to 14,000 kilometers per hour to enter orbit. This will be a tense time at mission control in the UAE. The thrusters must fire for 30 minutes at precisely the right time. If anything goes wrong, the spacecraft will pass Mars and the mission will fail. 
but we can't control the spacecraft in real time from Earth. When it's so far away, signals can take more than 14 minutes to arrive. Its brain will be sophisticated enough to make its own decisions. Look back in history. The Middle East was once a powerhouse for innovation and science. Muslim civilizations were once pioneers in mathematics and astronomy. This will be the first ever Arab Islamic mission to another planet. The Emirates Mars mission will have a major impact and a legacy here in the UAE. That's because of the approach that we took to planning and building this mission. The easy way to do it would have been to go and buy technologies and expertise from big space agencies and companies. We decided to do it ourselves, to build it ourselves, and to learn with our partners along the way. This mission is managed by a 100% Emirati team. Emirati universities and research institutions will work on the science. That way we get to build the knowledge and keep the skills. This mission will be the catalyst for a new generation of Arab scientists and engineers. It will be an anchor project for the space and science sector here in the UAE. That's one reason I'm so proud and excited to be part of the mission as an Emirati and as an Arab. It's very symbolic for an Arab and Muslim country to launch an interplanetary mission. We have taken a step beyond just looking at the skies. We are going there. I think it will change the way young people look at their region. It will help us think positively and see hope and opportunity. If a small young Arab nation is able to reach Mars, truly anything is possible.